Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the vlog. I am at the mighty, the mighty, the epic Cliffs of Moher. It's situated on the west coast of Ireland and it has to be one of the main attractions that Ireland even has and they're currently currently in plans to give it a 16.5 million euro uh, refurbishment to extend the car park and a few bit of arc, uh, a few bit of roadworks and a tunnel of some sort. So that's interesting enough to see what they're going to do from that side of things. So when I saw that article as of the other day I said right I need to get to the cliffs some more just in case I'm not going to be here for another good bit of a while. So I've came to the side of the road what's called, I'm going to go down what's called the Goat's Path and I want to get a time lapse from down below. I've been down there before and I'll send a link to it uh, in this episode where I went down with Colin Gleason. but today I'm supposed to be meeting up with my buddy John Myler. Now Damien Jackson is also here I'll leave a link to his channel right here. I've never met the dude I've met a, talked to him online just a small bit but it uh, seems like a nice guy. I don't think there's going to be an amazing sunset but there is clouds coming in through here at the moment so I'm in a bit of a rush to kind of get out there and it's my first time getting my new Nike hiking shoes um, they are pretty freaking awesome they're red uh, it's the Nike ACGs the all gear condition or whatever the crack uh, so I'm putting them to the test on kind of a climb some bit of a climb or a hill I have used them for walking and they're really comfortable but Oh, diddly hi ho! Let's get out and dodge. Do I look pretty? I look pretty. Let's go. To get what's called the goat's path is you got to park down kind of a bog road or a side road somewhere, but you got to be careful where you park your car. You can't exactly be in the middle of the road blocking up the local traffic because they will go absolutely spa. So I've came down the road maybe about half a mile and as you can see where I parked the van there's plenty of space for people to get by. I'm walking up this road now and I'm going to get on what's called the goat road or the goat path that's going to lead me down to the bottom of the cliffs. Uh, when I arrived there was all this kind of lovely inverse clouds coming in. Whether they're still there or not I don't know. I, it looks like they're gone already but look there's nothing I can do about it. I'm out in the open, in the west coast of Ireland, and man, it feels good. It's nice and fresh. All right, so I'm at the point where we're going to go down to the Cliffs of Moher. There is a bit of a rain coming in, so it can get a bit slippy. And the, the most dangerous point would be about only about 10 feet from the bottom. So you just have to be very careful because it's got that shingle stone. Uh, but we're still going to head down. There's just a small bit of drizzle, not too much. It looks fairly clear in the distance and uh, it's going to look good. So I'm going to head down. Uh, I'm on my own. That's OK. I've let people know where I'm going what time I'm going down at and what time I expect to be back. And I think it's very important that you tell someone that because when you go down here, there's no phone coverage. There's no way to contact anyone in any shape or form. So if something does happen to you, you're at the mercy of praying to God someone comes get you. And then not many people go down here. So without further ado, I'm going to jump on down. I'm not going to take too much vlog footage on the way down because 
I want to be aware of my surroundings at all times. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm down at the bottom now and it was actually quite fine getting down but it was absolutely no problem. The new Nike shoes are absolute, the grip in them was very, very good, especially in that shingle stone, but they're not my favorite shoes by far. I mean, when I was walking downhill, I was getting a bit of a sore point on my big toe, so these shoes just ain't gonna cut it, you know, especially if you're going downhill. Going uphill, they're perfect. Are walking along the straight line perfect but not not downhill man these shoes are no enough for me but what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking a bit of shelter simply because a bit of a, a shower came in so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna relax here for I don't know, 10 minutes 20 minutes half an hour until it goes away and uh, then I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave my bag here sheltered you can see it ah, maybe you can't I'm going to leave that there, I'm going to try and find a new composition that I can get from this place. Okay, so I've normally kind of came a bit further than I usually do. Normally I just kind of potter about up there and look for a composition, but what I wanted to do was try to get something different. And I've came a good bit up now, I'd say about maybe, I don't know, 400 yards, and uh, it's worse and worse the picture the composition seemed to be getting simply because this line here is just almost too big for the picture. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up again and see if we can get a better composition up that way because it just doesn't seem to be working for me here. The rain has stopped, so that's a, a, an added bonus. But what I need to kind of get moving now as well because I want to get the best light as possible. And at the moment, the clouds are forming really, really nicely and it could prove to be a very, very good picture.
packed up my gear, I'm heading off. I didn't even manage to get a photograph simply because what's behind me is, and it's coming in quite fast, is a big bank of water, <laughs> aka rain in the sky. So I'm going to try and make a break for it and kind of get back up to the top. As long as I can get to the first part up and over, I'm sorted, but I just don't want to get caught in that. As you can see over my shoulder, it's starting to disappear. The cliffs are starting to disappear. So yeah, I want to get over nice and fast and get up to the top and uh, go get some dinner. And maybe John might be there by the time I uh, get there. Maybe he's not even coming, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a sunset, but look, we'll go get food anyway for sure. I'm starving. And I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Greg Snell, who actually led a workshop here at the Cliffs of Moher once upon a time. And he'd never even been turned in, and he still managed to lead a workshop. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Fair play to you, Greg. And also, I'm starting my first own workshop this summer in August. Hopefully, it's going to go ahead. It's basically aimed at beginners for photography. We're going to take a trip along the Cliffs of Moher. We're not coming down here. No way am I bringing someone else down here and being responsible for them. But a uh, big hike from Doolin to uh, Hag's Head and then we get a bus back from Hag's Head back to Doolin. I mean, it's going to be epic. Epic, epic, epic. Okay, so I've started climbing up and I've came up a good bit and that rainstorm has really came in now. But I've, ran, I've, I've ran up as fast as I could simply because I want to stay dry and uh, get up to the bank because I'm famished. But I whipped out the camera again. We got the Canon ASR 16-35 f4 lens. And I'm shooting an aperture of 6.3. So I want to get an in focus to infinity. So that sea stack in the distance is going to be sharp. Best as it can be. I've used these rocks here in the foreground to give me a bit of interest and make the image that much better. And man, is it looking good on the back of the camera. I hope to God that it actually comes off because I haven't taken a photograph up until now. So let's give you a wipe now. Sorry, yeah, it's absolutely manky out now. So yeah, that's really after coming in strong. So I think I'm gonna kind of make tracks again, get back up to the top. I don't know if you even know it's really gonna come out this, because it's so bad out. Uh, yeah, what a photo, man. I can't wait to look at this man, it's just epic! Have a look at this! How spooky looking does this look? That is epic! Absolutely epic! Woohoo! Look what the cat dragged in, huh? He decided to actually come out and play. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> all right so guys i've arrived at my destination so i'm in a place called loop head lighthouse so i'm after driving about an hour and 15 minutes from the cliffs of moher all the way down the coast road and i've arrived at this glorious destination now this place really really comes alive when you get the drone up in the sky Peter Cox has a fabulous shot. I'll leave a link to his episode from the one to one series up here. And I've been chasing this shot for years and I've never ever gotten the same uh, as good as a shot or an unbelievable shot. So tomorrow morning for the sunrise, I'm gonna see if I can better that. So you're not gonna see that in this episode. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you've enjoyed what I can show you at the Cliffs of Moher, the time lapses and well, just a one. And I think I got one photograph. I think, I think. But thank you very much for watching this week's episode, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. If you could give me a like, that'd be great. And if it's your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell also if you want to get notified of future episodes coming up. And uh, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, yo.